Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Surround Dead. I'm the Radio Man 03, and it's awesome to have you along. First, so I don't forget uh, to our inventory. Thank you for letting me know that this container, this military container, is an upgrade to the um, secure container. So I put the secure container in the military container, and in this one I'm putting the medical stuff and just kind of letting it pile up in here. Uh, as you know, it, it doesn't like to stack, but when that's remedied, it'll be a handy thing to have. Uh, so I put that in here. Uh, ooh, I've got a bunch of shell casings on me, too, I need to put away. I did a little bit of round making. I've got some more 308s. And thank you for letting me know I don't need the separate uh, clips for the 308 rounds. The sniper rifle, I could just add those to it as I go. Uh, we don't have to have the clips that I was, I've been holding on to them. Uh, I think I put them all over here. Yeah, I've been holding on to these guys up here. We don't really need those as long as we have the one in the uh, weapon. As long as we've got the shells, it'll continue to fill those up. I'm also sporting the vector, and we've got the hatchet, the hunting hatchet. I also found today, for the first time, a hunting knife, which is actually does uh, 29 damage and 7 stamina drain. This one does 28 damage and 6 stamina drain. So that hunting knife is a little bit better, but it does take a little more stamina. Uh, so I'm going to stick with what I have here. Do I have anything for the vector for a silencer? Uh, 556 five, suppressor. That's not for this, is it? No, it's not. I don't have a suppressor for it. Can't put the red dot on there. Can I do that? No. Angled foregrip? No. Okay. We can put the sights on there, the Vector SMG sights, but that's about it. Hope everyone's doing great. I'm doing fantastic. It's a Thursday afternoon. Ah, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. Indeed. I have been, uh, this is the stuff we have for sale at the moment. I've got a few things in here. I found this helmet too, a tactical helmet. It's protection 2.5. It's really cool looking, but it's not as good as the uh, riot helmet, which gives you a uh, protection of four. So I'm going to stick with the riot helmet at the moment. I won't sell anything for a little while just to, you know, be careful. Oh, speaking of water, back in our inventory, in my second duffel bag here, I have decided to keep a well with me at all times. That way, if something happens, we run out of water or anything like that should happen. Uh, we've got a third backpack in here too, a third duffel bag. Uh, I could just drop that well and it'll start filling with water and just even a little bit of water actually gets me uh, filled up, which is really nice. I think we're going to stay kind of close to home today. I was gathering some wood, some stone, and some metal. I don't know if you guys actually saw that downstairs, but we'll, we'll take a look at it here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and use that and use that. That's got my food just about full. I think we're good there. Uh, keep my eyes open for deer today and um, you know, all, the, all the good stuff. Oh, I was going to show you something downstairs here. Uh, let's see. What was I going to show you downstairs here? Can't remember now. Oh, here. I've got some stone. I've got a little bit of wood uh, and then the metal. The metal is like the d most difficult thing to get because it takes the sledgehammer in your melee slot and it's very slow going and you actually use up quite a bit of energy while you're using it. Today I kind of want to go down the road and just see what we bump into. There's a few places close by us that we could just go into and take a look at. Uh, we've got some fuel. No repair kits, but I believe we can make repair kits. Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to make sure I talked about that was brought up in the comments. And thank you for the comments. You guys hear me ask questions about the game. Be sure to check the comments because there's always an answer in there. In here, we can make rope by using our cloth. So that's very good to know. We can also make repair kits with a few pieces of metal. Which, by the way, we should probably should do. I don't think I have any more. We could find them, but uh, I can make them. So let's make a couple of those. And we'll put those in the vehicles so there's always a repair kit in the vehicles. Because I think part of what makes the game kind of fun is that you can just go out and run down the zombies if you want want to. Okay, that truck was really doing a, doing a thing there, huh? A little thing. We'll throw one in there, and we're going to throw one in the Humvee for sure. Uh, like so. There we go. we got a sleeping bag in there too. Do I have any repair kits in? No, the RV is empty. So that pickup really bounced there. I've got a feeling it's just because we were, you know, using it. This is metal right here, this van. No, it's not. I'm sorry, that I'm, I'm mistaken. That van is not metal. That van, although it's dark, maybe it was. I can't remember now. I think it was, actually. I think I stripped that of its metal. Yeah. We've got other stuff in here, too, that's for sale. And then I've got some food in here also. But uh, we're going to hold on to this stuff here. 
And I'll take it back to the house. Could we use this, the small red dot site on here? No. What do I have on here that's keeping me from doing that? Oh, I have a red dot site on it. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, I went down... No, 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 no. Don't, don't refuel it. I went down this way, I think it was this way. Ran into a gas station down here and did a little looking in there. There's also a place behind us with a radio antenna on it. And I checked that out too, but didn't find... Well, there was a locked cabinet in it that had some loot. Ooh, there's a deer. Well, we may have to kill somebody here. The white stag is up there. Uh, okay, he just went to the truck. To zoom in with your scope, in case you don't know, somebody asked in the comments about it, you hold down, right, right click, and then you click the uh, mouse wheel. And that's what zooms you in with the scope on the gun, the rifle. Let's go pick up that meat. Hopefully with it being the white stag, it's going to have plenty of meat on it. I don't know that there's anything special about this stag, but uh, no, it's not. We see any other deer around here that uh, we could take advantage of? I'm into shooting the deer for sure because, like I said, I think it's still the same. Let's see. What does it give you? It's, uh, oh, it's only 8 hunger? It was 25, wasn't it? Oh, I guess it's because it's raw. Okay, it's raw meat. So maybe it goes, it gets better once, uh, once you cook it. Bumps up to 25. But I guess in a pinch, you could down that chunk of raw meat and get away with that. I'm also trying to, trying to practice to see if maybe running and um, walking is a little bit better for my uh, stamina. We'll check out this gas station right here. That pickup right down there was a, a source of metal for me. Well, let's go ahead and take this guy out. Take those beans. You bet I will. I ain't picky about the beans. Uh, I also need to take a look at this and make sure our money is actually stacking in here. Instead of being weird. Okay, so a little over 5,000, 6,061 in the money front. There's a guy in a scuba suit. Never trust a guy in a scuba suit who's above water. Well, you're ridiculous. Get out of here, scuba man. Uh, I don't want the backpack. Uh, you know what I've not seen today yet is a crawler. I'm wondering if the crawlers were removed for a little bit because they were such a pain in the butt. Don't know about that. Aha! Uh -huh. Just knew it. I knew there'd be some gas in here. So this is our little gas station we can come to on a regular basis just to see if it's got some loot for us, which it appears it does, which is fantastic. Uh, toilet paper. Oh, energy bar. Good. The energy bar is right. Uh, it was said in the comments also that the energy bar is what increases your stamina. So that is a very handy thing to have. Toilet paper. These are just sellable items, it looks like. Yeah, I'm not going to pick those things up. She looks like a runner. She, if, she, if she's a runner, if I've ever seen a runner before. But she comes charging right at me. We can put our axe away. I'm really enjoying Surround Dead. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with this game, where it's going. It's going to be a lot of, it's going to be fun. Aha. Uh -huh. A few nine mils. Okay, I'll take those. Very good, very good. Go down the road a little bit more here and see what else there is to see on our, our, our road. This is our road to our house, so I'm kind of checking it out, making sure I know what's here and what's where. I found some wood piles and some stone piles and just a couple of vehicles so far to uh, loot the items out of. They'll come this way. We're going to go this way. Oh, they actually saw me. I feel like maybe they're seeing a little bit further now. Oh yeah, look at that. Maybe they are. Let's try out our new gun. Well, that's fun. Uh-oh, radiated. She's got she's got the sickness real bad. 
<laughs> and a varmint rifle. No, I don't want it. I'm not going to the trader as much as I probably should be, but I'm being a little picky about the loot that I pick up. I'll take that gunpowder for sure. I haven't found gunpowder in days. Uh, there's some 7.62 rounds, which is always nice to find for our AK. All right, beautiful. There we go. Yeah, I've got to say that I have really enjoyed the game. I like the music in it. Uh, there's a couple of copyright issues in it, at least one copyright issue that I see in it, and that's the air raid siren. Other than that, uh, the game seems to be okay. This is the uh, tower right here. This is what I was looking at earlier. I found another one. I think it's the other direction from the house. This has got a barbed wire fence around it, so we need to be careful not to get ourselves trapped in here. More gunpowder. I'll take it. The police officer saw us and the other guy didn't. That's crazy. All the training she's been through, you know? Ah, more rounds. Very nice. Nothing. There's no loot in there. I think they actually encouraged the zombie killing. For the loot that's on the zombies. Uh, Gunpowder, we'll put you together there. And I guess I'll throw my... Oh, you know what? I've got a... No, that's not where I... Oh! Place that right there. I'll fill up my water. I took your advice on the backpacks and kind of picked the ones that are the biggest. And put them together. Open. That's just a duffel bag. Where is that other... Uh, I think it's in here, actually. No. Are you in here? No. Hmm. In here. No. I wonder what I did with that. I don't know. There we go. Water filled. I think that's a great solution for the water. I'm going to leave it right there, let it fill up, and I'll take a drink before I walk out of this place here. Another duffel bag. I'm not going to take that duffel bag. I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I've got plenty of storage to mess around with. There's a couple of wood. I'll always take the wood. That, that, okay. Okay, let's go ahead and get this stuff organized and we'll pick up our well. Which means we're getting water at home, which is fantastico. Uh, okay, we've got another can of gas. That's perfect. Close that one up. That's my tool bag. This is a bag for throwing things into right here. Like so. And we've got a nice water jug as well. We'll keep it home and keep it safe. And we'll just keep this stuff on us right here. Let's, let's get the rounds all down here where we can see them. Stuff gets up in here and I start losing track of it. Uh, what's, this, what's this doing? It's not stacking in here. That's a little frustrating, but again, that's that's something they'll they'll work on. Let's fill up our water, and we'll hit X. Pick that guy up. Back to our inventory, and I can throw this guy, I think, right back in here? No, uh-uh. Needs to go in here, and in here. Uh, did, oh, I did pick it up. There it is, right there. And boink. Gotcha. So that's my advice, is to have a well with you. Then you can plop it down and you don't have to worry about your water quite so much. Let's go ahead and jump in the Humvee and we'll take off from here. This little hole in the wall. I can't remember if we've stopped at one of these not yet. There is a dirt road leading back behind this. We're going to go check that out. There's a place just to you can make that a base, huh? Let's go back up here on this dirt road and see where it goes. I love dirt roads. They're fun. We got ourselves a little bit of a house back in here. This would be another good place to probably set up camp, right?
There we go. Perfect. Just a couple of fellas out here. Nurse Jenkins. And some guy. Oh, there's a bunker. Another empty bunker. Hmm. Are these for you to live in? Maybe they are there for you to live in. I don't know. Oh! Zombie! Didn't see him. I love how when you come inside, the rain kind of mutes outside. I think that's pretty cool. And there. Aha! Water bottle, that's very nice. And in the stove, another water bottle. Beautiful. Look at there. Don't have to worry too much about that. Alright, we've uh, discovered a house just down the road from us. Oh, there's the farm. Oh, I definitely want to go see the barn. I love a good farm. I do love a good farm. Yeehaw! And for splats. Oh. Oh, that wasn't good. My ve my vehicle's in some trouble. Hopefully I put a repair kit in there. Pretty sure I did. I did. Good thinking, radio. Good thinking. Alright, and let's go ahead and repair the vehicle. Get this all fixed up. Thanks for being here today. I appreciate that. And voila. All fixed. All right. Very good. Let's go check out this here barn. What's in here? Oh, there's a there's a locked cabinet in here. That's going to have some decent loot. That's just a couple of hats. That's some big boxes. A little box. A tractor. That's cool. Ugh, medical mask. Really? Let's open this up and see what happens. This is going to take a second to open it. You need your bolt cutters uh, in your uh, hot bar there to get this open. This should have, uh, hopefully, some weapons in it for us. Ah, okay. All stuff we could sell. Put the pistol suppressor on there. I wonder, you know what, uh, inspect. Let's take that off of there. Can I put that on here, inspect? If I take that off of here, it will. Okay, now that's silenced, so we don't have to worry about making a bunch of noise uh, from them. These are worth 450, and that is worth 750. I'll leave that that case right there. We'll put these guys in the back of the uh, Humvee here. Maybe we will take a trip to the trader and sell some stuff. There's a lot of things I don't need that we could sell. It would be really. Uh, Nice to get the money, and then we'll buy. Hopefully, they have more rounds. So there's a barn out here with no house attached to it. I guess that's the house for the barn. They're kind of separated a bit of a distance away from each other, but I guess that's what they are. Oh, church! Watch out, zombies! another uh, oh I think this might be it's a trader back here no it's a bus huh there's a bus back here what do we got back here oh this is interesting looks like some kind of a housing type thing apartment complex maybe a hotel That tree seems to be blocking my rounds. This vector is not very powerful. I guess we should expect that. Oh, this place is... What time is it? It's getting pretty late, huh? Yeah. Well, it's just raining. That's what makes it so dark out here. 
We got a few zombies around. Let's give a whistle. Get them to come over this way. We'll put our pistol away. Oh, she saw me. Zombies stuck in walls up here. <laughs> I gotta imagine a developer sees this on screen and goes, Oh, jeez. Now what do I do? Put the money away later. Luggage. There's nothing I want here. Hmm. One of you had mentioned that maybe a crowbar could be used on something like this door to get us in here. Or I could do that. Use the control key. And crouch to get through that window. Uh-oh. Zombie. Zombie! Come on! Oh my god, he would not shoot the gun! Well, that is the end of David Jones. Yes, uh, Morris is here, and I did hear that the uh, Queen Elizabeth has passed away at the age of like 95, 98 or something like that. 70 years of rule. Well, we need to start with a new survivor. Let's, uh... Respawn. Let's see how this works. Oh, oh, it's him again. This isn't David Jones, is it? It is David Jones. Oh, I didn't think we were going to get David Jones back. I really didn't think he'd come back from the dead. But here he is. I was going to kind of do just a series. Let me know if you want to, but I've, I've got... <laughs> that kind of happened quickly. I was stunned and could not um, get out of there. That zombie stunned me. And for some reason, I could not get my uh, hatchet out to, uh, to fight. Oh, is it too early? We're almost there. Bummer. David Jones. First death for David Jones. Back to zero now. Thought for sure I was going to be able to keep him alive a lot longer. Yeah, I panicked. I couldn't get my hatchet out. I thought it was out. It wasn't out. Then I, thought it, then I think it was out. Then I tried to pull out my... Uh, the vector so I could just mow that guy down and it just was not enough. We're dead. Alright, let's see if we can go back over there and get our stuff. I'm not going to take a whole bunch of stuff with me because I don't want it in my inventory to do that. Uh, how far down did I go? We went this way a ways. Eyewear, headwear, facewear, that, backpack, you go here, I could drop you, get a gun, radio, there you go, rifle, uh, melee, melee goes here, gun goes here, nope, oh jeez, no, 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 not again. Oh, God, there's another one behind me. Whew. Holy moly. Knife, please, drop into my inventory so I can get my axe back. Thank you very much. Sorry, sorry, David Jones, the first. 
Sorry I killed you. I could have come in through this way. No ammo. Got another one coming. I want to check this room. There's got to be something in there that there's so much interest in this area. Oh, it's quiet in here now. Oh, except for her. Toilet paper. What? Is that a refrigerator? Air conditioning unit. I wonder if she can hit me. Lock pick. I'll take that. Did I pick up everything I was supposed to pick up? Where's my container? Oh, what's this? Ah, oh, there it is, right there. Okay, so I need to open that. Why is, I don't understand this. If I put you over here, well, that's just weird. Let's drop that. Get out of my inventory. I want to pick up that military thing and I want to pick up my hunting knife. Back to my inventory. That is... Okay, there we go. That looks that looks the way it's supposed to look right there. Pockets? I'm supposed to have food and stuff in my pockets. Is it inside here? No. There's nothing in there. Um, I didn't exactly get everything back. Where's my bandages and my money pouch and all that stuff is gone. Do you lose that on death? Let's check him again. Yeah, where's my money pouch, my bandage? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, gotcha. There it is. Okay. We're on track now. I was a bit worried there. If you couldn't tell. There we go. Bandages. And an antibiotic. A painkiller, I should say. All right, beautiful. All right, we've got all that stuff back. What do we got in here? Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Hey, you lousy lady. Knock it off. Hit me in the head like that. That's just cheap. Uh, I'll eat that. The long run. Okay. There we go. David Jones is uh, put back together again. My goodness. Oh, man, I died. Devastated. I was hoping to make it a little bit longer than that. I think David Jones made it 17, 18 days. And that's about it. A bellhop here with a problem. Get your feet off the seats. Oh, look at you. Hey, there's no pool here. <laughs> there's no pool at this hotel. What's going on around here? There you go, get in there. I don't see a pool anywhere. A lot of zombies stuck inside uh, the walls here, which is uh, a bit weird. But what are you going to do? There they are. Oh, did I find something I could search? Yep, yeah, I could search these things from outside. Can I break this glass? No. Didn't look like it. Oh, man. Nerve racking. What gets you is the fact that you're, you're about to die. You don't want to die. You're trying not to die. But dang it, there's nothing you can do about it. And with me, it's panic. Panic kills me every single time. Uh, I'll take the tape. Oh, and the bandage. Which you can't just click and... Uh, you can't just shift cl or control click it into your inventory. I was going to die again. Water. Use. Oh. 
that constant walking is a bit um, nerve-wracking. Uh, oh, there's a buggy. There's the dune buggy. I wonder if this works. We may have found a dune buggy. I didn't think it was still in the game, but maybe it is. Oh, it's not. This is the sand rail I was talking about, that I've been talking about. This was really fun to drive around in. I don't know that it's still available in the game. I didn't notice it in the vehicles when they were announcing the different changes in the vehicles. I didn't go up on the second floor of this place. Maybe we should do that real quick and just snoop, poke our nose in a little bit and see if there's anything in here. Uh, another water. Use that. You know what? Aviators, uh, common. What are these? We'll take those. We'll swap out our sunglasses. I'm going to keep my hatchet in my hand so I don't have to wonder if I've got it in my hand or not. Broken glass and a chair. Not fair that she can hit me, but I can't hit her when she's stuck in the wall. Yeah, that's not very fair. Uh, gas can. I'll take that gas can. Oh, I thought she got off of there for a second. Take that jug, jug of water. What is this, a worn knife? Get it out of here. Drop that. Oh, here comes an airdrop. Let's see if we can figure out where this one is. Oh, look at this. There's a whole beach out here. <laughs> it's a beach with umbrellas. Map, where is it? Where is it? We have to wait until it's gone, and then something should pop up on the map. But I don't even know where the plane is to begin with. It's so foggy. Oh, I think I see it right up there. It's going that way. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Airdrop, right here. Boom, how far away is that from us? Uh, where am? Where is my character at? I'm right here. If I run straight, we should run into it. This is going to be a bit of a run, but uh, we're going to do it. We're going to do it to see if we can get us an airdrop. Uh, look at that. There's a little kayak out there and stuff. People swimming in the water. Nice. Oh, maybe I should get the Humvee. Let's get the Humvee. We'll drive it much better than walking. We'll see if we can find it. There is a red trail of smoke that comes up from that. As you get closer, it should be visible. We'll see if we can uh, drive over there. Hopefully, uh, dead David Jones left the keys in the ignition. Oh wow, it didn't stay up for very long, did it? It just gives you a quick notification that it's out there. It's up to you to go in the right direction and find it, which is just not something I'm very good at. Oh, watch it, sliding around on the grass. Guess we could do a little deer hunting while we're out here too. Holy moly. Uh, it was west-northwest, correct? Uh, we should see a red plume of smoke eventually to let us know exactly where the airdrop is. I don't think I've ever seen an airdrop while recording or doing anything like this, so this should be interesting, hopefully, if I could find it. I don't know how long they stick around either. It was right in here somewhere, I think, right? Just kind of out here. Let's see if we can get it over. Let's go over the bridge if we can. Take Oh, there it is. I see it up ahead there. There it is right there. You see it? Nice airdrop. Beautiful. Oh, that's fun. That's a good time right there. All right, let's see what kind of loot we got in here. That's what an airdrop looks like. Yeah, 
All right, let's take a look and see. Ooh, sweet mama, look at that. What do we want and what don't we want? Uh, we definitely want the shotgun rounds. Uh, let's open this guy up here. No, you're not the one I'm looking for. There's a guy that's got my... Where did it go? I must have dropped it somehow. I thought I had... What I'm looking for is I had one of those um, things that you could put ammunition in. An ammunition case with me. And it doesn't look like it's here. Nine mils. Actually, those nine millimeters would work pretty good in this clip up here. No, that's right. This 5.56, 4.45. Some 6.2 rounds. That's not going to do me any good. Uh, the binoculars we could sell. I'm going to take this suppressor. Uh, the pistol suppressor. Sniper suppressor. Ooh, that's... Do I have that on here? I do. Okay. Well, we'll take it. We'll take that one so we have a backup in case we need it. 5556 five, drum. That's the first one of those I found. We've got 13 more rounds for our 308, and we've got some shotgun shells as well. Uh, thank you for not telling me where the, um, whatchamacallits are in the game, the uh, bunkers. Uh, I know we found one. Ooh, there's a semi. That would be worth checking to see if that is a viable vehicle. Oh, we've got a few of you guys coming this way. Food? Don't mind if I do. Didn't really need to, but... You guys were telling me in the comments that, that uh, the semi, if we find one, has a ton of space in it. It's not a viable one. Too bad. You get some decent metal off that thing, though, probably. But you can't drive it anywhere. That's unfortunate. Let's see if there's any uh, repair kit up here, possibly. Oh, ho, ho, baby. Perfect. It's just what the radio ordered. Poor David Jones, man. His guts are being eaten right now. He just It's just awful. It's just awful. Uh, repair. Uh, we're, we're, we don't need the repair just yet, but it's nice to have that repair kit. I feel better about it already. Hold on. We gotta get that deer. Oh, whew. Gotcha. Deer on the run, baby. We need the meat. Hello? Where are you? There you are. Oh, there we go. There's the three banger deer. Let's go do some looting in here. This is like right next to the house. So close to home. Now, I was in here a little bit. I went into that area right there. Hello. Hello, Grandma. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Ouch. She's got some claws on her. Nothing in the garbage. Nothing in the garbage. Nothing in the car. You search dog houses? No. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of this guy. I'll uh, take the cloth. I'll grab the varmint rifle for now, just to sell. I, I, yeah, I think I really just need to take a trip. Oh, if I can pick that lock on that door. That means there's some good loot in there. Watch your walkie-talkie, lady. Can't get in that way. All right, let's pick this lock and see what's in here. I was in that house. There's a lock, a lock box in that house right there. Let's pick this lock real quick and see what happens. You should drink from the full well. You're wasting water. It won't fill. You mean the ones that are partially fill, filled? They will fill. Ooh, we've not seen this one yet. Okay, there's a new gun. Uh, some more rad pills. Do they only stack to four? They only stack to four. Well, we'll keep that handy. There's a busted radio. There's that, the clip, and the pistol suppressor, all of which I have. Multiples of. We'll take that can of food. Nothing in the oven or there. <laughs> this, 
Okay, never mind. Okay. You'd have to pick the lock in the back door too. Sniper compensator. Sniper rifle compensator attachment. What does this do? I have a feeling it's not what I want. I want the silencers on my weapons because once you fire a gun, ooh, we've not found this weapon either. <laughs> oh, look at there. All right, let's take this here varmint rifle. We'll stick it right there. And we'll stick you right there. We do, we do not have a pump action shotgun. We do not. That was a good little house to go into. Nice weapons. Uh, just in case you're wondering where we are on the map, we are right over yonder, just south of the FOB Alpha, and uh, in between Trader Joe's and uh, the this uh, there's a radiated zone here. The house is just like right in this area here. All right, we're going into the next house. See, there's the gas thing right there. We'll pull up next to it with the truck and see if uh, we we get anything off of that. Oh, beautiful water, nice. I'll take that. There's a can of food, beautiful. And nope, don't need any of that stuff. That hunting knife, if you're looking for a hunting knife at the beginning, that's really good. I'll take that uh, wood. The wood. Uh, no. And we need to make a bed for ourselves, too. Ooh, it's really bright out here. Thank God I got my sunglasses on, man. Let's grab her over here first. Well, shot. Take it. That's my hatchet. Meeting your body. Oh, yeah, you're dead. You're dead. You couldn't take it, lady. Oh, here he comes. That one reminds me of Keanu from Seven Days to Die. That's what he does. Yeah, I was in here. I was in here already. This has got. This is what this has got in it. I did come in here earlier today when I first got on, and uh, apparently didn't take that light. This pickup is also searchable. At least it was when I got on. This stuff all resets after you leave and come back in. There's a dead police officer in here. <laughs> that was a cheap shot, lady. Cheap, cheap shot. More money. Golly, I tell you. I got the money, man. Okay, there's that. Now, I'm kind of curious to see if I can pull up next to that and uh, actually get a can of gas out of it. Because let's see. If, if we look at it, I don't think there's any gas in here. But I'm wondering if when I pull up, if it doesn't get a can of gas in it. I need you to come over here, Mr. Clown. Mr. Clown. It'd be funny if you had like a rubber nose on him or something. Oh, well, police officer only has one eye. Gross. Well, there's a nice big backpack. You go in there. Take those rounds. All right, let's see if we get a can of fuel out of that, uh, that their gas pump. Because there's one at that construction site, there was one at that house that we started, we did our setup at in the previous episodes. Interact with the gas pump. Hmm. After the gas tank right next to it, maybe? Hmm. Well, I'm not quite sure how these work. We did find one in that construction site that did have gas in it. I believe it was the construction site right down here in the north. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I am not sure how those work. Okay, this is actually a pretty good little loot spot right here. Let's drive around the back of the building here just to see if there's anything else other than that zombie right here we need to think about. Doesn't look like it. No, doesn't look like it at all. Okay, so that is a nice little loot spot. There's Oh, we did not go into that house right there. This house right here has a lock container in it. Uh, if you've got the bolt cutters in your hot bar right here, these tools, you can open these. They're locked usually, but this is open. So I'm gonna grab you, and you, and, and, and you. I guess I can drop you in there. There goes the uh, fighter jet overhead. Uh, okay, that's it. 
So that house, th yeah, there's two houses. There's one that needs to be, have its lock picked, uh, and you have to have a lock pick to do it. And then there's the other one that you have to have the bolt cutters to get into. But if you got those two things, there's a pretty good loot inside there. Look at this, it's all snowy out here today. Save the round, people. Save that round. Point, point. Oh, look at that. That steer had four pieces of meat in it. What the heck? That's how we do that. <laughs> Just run them over. I have done that before. Uh, can of food, can of food. Drop you, drop you, drop you. Keep the nine millimeters on us. The, okay, this guy's worth what? Six seventy-five. We've got one of those, so I don't really need that one. A little homestead here. I'm looking for maybe a dirt road or something to go down again, because the dirt roads always have some fun stuff. The hotel where David Jones died today actually had. Um, well, we could go in here. We've never loot. We we did a little bit of looting in here, but not much. We gotta watch out for that rat. We're in the rad zone. We could go check those tents out. See if there's anything good in there. If I crouch, do I aim better? Let's see. Oh, he's still got just as much movement on this the sniper rifle. If we can clear out most of them before going down there, it just makes life a lot easier. Because we've only got so much time in here. Ah, oh, jeez. Right in the buttock. Oh, they're not hitting him. It's actually hitting the uh, vehicles here, I think, in front of me. Oh, come on now. Going in. Let's do it. Take our hatchet out. Let's go. Contaminant FOB Alpha. Nasty. These zombies are a little bit tougher. Takes a few more hits. Nothing. Shell casings, that's all I need out of there. We got a zombie over here looking at us. I'm taking the polymer just because I'm not quite sure what we can do with that yet. Uh, I got all of that stuff too. Plenty of that stuff. Medical, I'll take those rad pills. We're going to need those. You can't, you can't control click those into your inventory either. Oh, what's this? Ooh, standard key card. Okay, all right, that's good to have. Uh, we'll take that. Respirator. Oh, hello, crawler. <laughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, rounds, rounds, rounds. Okay, ammunition. We, oh, oh, he'd come in. Oh, I've only got the one, right? Oh, no, I got two on me now. Got two on me. Was a tough one for 13 13 coins and a cell phone uh, let's use that and uh, use one of those right there there we go perfect uh, this um, 
This respirator we have on right now is very good. It really works very nicely. That crawler is still over here. Oh yeah, there we go. I see you coming after me. Bring around the rosy, buddy. Uh, more rounds. I'll take that. Ugh. There's a sniper rifle in there too, but I'm not going to take it. I've got one already. I don't know that there's anything else for us to look at here. We didn't quite make it through here last time we tried. Let's try out our G18. Case. <sighs> Aiming is a little difficult in the game. A little difficult. But again, it's something that's being worked on. Okay, nothing. Alright, that takes care of the rad zone. There's probably some other stuff in here. I just didn't see it, but uh, I'm going to get out of here. Again, I don't like to push my luck. What's that? Oh, she got stuck. Oh. Oh, I can hear the trader. I put the doors in the building, if you're wondering. Um, there's window coverings. Uh, those of you who may not be familiar, there is a workbench right here that has numerous things that you can make. Uh, tank traps, spikes, there's your gate, palisade walls, wood barricades for your windows, the door, there's a second wooden door, there's wooden fencing. I don't know if farming is coming to the game, but if he brings farming to the game, I think it would be, it would just knock it out of the ballpark. Oh, that's the bunker door. I always thought that was a shelf. A metal door used to keep the bad people out. Oh, so that's what you need this stuff for. Okay. The polymers for that. What do I need for a bed frame? Four metal. Let's make a bed frame and see if we can put our bed on it. Bed frame. There we go. Throw that back in there and let's place this. I'm going to guess that that's the foot of the bed where it's all busted up. And we'll put it right here at the window. That way when the zombies come to the window, they can just, you know, rip right into me. And I don't even know what happened. Uh, now, can I click on the bed? Inventory? No. Can I place this on there? Ha! Okay. Oh, there you go. We're not sleeping on the ground anymore. That's nice. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot better. That's much, much better. So let's, let's have a nice chunk of venison. And we've got plenty more to throw in here. Because we did a little bit of hunting while we were out and about. More food. Yeah, I think next episode we'll work on just gathering resources and um, do a little building. And experiment with that some more. Because I've not done a whole lot of it, and I would like to do more of it. It's going to be time-consuming, I can tell you that much. Uh, you don't get a lot of stuff, and it takes some work, especially the metal. The metal is very time-consuming to get the metal. 9 mils are good, eight, 45 ACP rounds are good, 12-gauge shotgun shell. These are nice. These are these are getting better. 5.56 five, rounds and 7.62s. Seven, I find very few 7.62s. And the 556. Five, I find very few of these. And the shotgun, as a matter of fact, too. I'm going to actually, I can't throw that in there because it's uh, unavailable. Oh, the, the weapons are fun, though. Uh, okay, so we're going to go in here. I'm going to throw you in there, you in there. And I got some shell casings. Let's throw the shell casings over here. There we go. Oh, you guys stack? Oh my god, look at that. They stack to 30. You just never know until you try to stack something, whether it stacks or not. But that is a stackable item. So we've got plenty of shell casings right now. Lots of lanterns. 
some rope. We got a lot of stuff. We got a lot of stuff. Yeah, maybe we do that next episode. We'll work on uh, doing some building. I think I've got this scheduled for Friday. No, I don't. I don't think I have this scheduled again until early next week. But I'm thinking building out here would be really great uh, to kind of box this in and get a wall around it and stuff just to kind of experience that part of the game as well. Let's go ahead and sleep the night away. And I want to try this Survive the Night and see what that's all about. I've not done that. So I'm kind of curious as to just what that means. If I put a wall up around here with a gate, I board up the windows downstairs, Will is am I in for a fight? The other thing I'm kind of curious about right now is has this wood pile respawned its wood? Or is this something that only respawns? Hmm, okay, so I did this right when I got here. Right when I got on today, uh, I did this wood pile right here, and it's still not respawned. So I'm wondering if it just does not respawn. You have to go off and find other ones to uh, go ahead and do. I gotta somehow get all this into my inventory and the truck and take it out to sell it. Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff. Um, and I'm low on time in terms of recording. There we go. There you go. I drank from the full well. These guys, I think, would be nicer if they were all kind of lined up in a row and, you know, a little more organized. But my idea, my plan is to hopefully do, uh, like we've got the wall over here. That's from the tent. I should probably do something over this door here. Block that off. Come over here, just past this little balcony here. Come straight down this way. Uh, come out as far as I want to, you know, and then come across, put the gate in, and then back down to the side of the house here. Uh, maybe one or two more out from that palisade wall. We come out two more, bring it down, maybe follow the road a little bit with it, and then uh, put a gate in. And then there are, we'll have our own little compound. Or move those back a little bit so we can get out the back door and still have a bit of backyard to uh, to be in. To be in. For the rest of today's stream, how about we go out here and see if there are any deer. We'll go on foot and do a little bit of hunting. Our food and water is full. It's very good. I've been over here already once today and killed everybody and there was just, yeah, there's just a hat in there and the vehicle was empty. Another stone pile. So we've got a wood pile over there. We've got a stone pile right here and then there is a vehicle just down the road where we can get the scrap metal. You get 30 out of each resource, it, it appears. Get up on top of this hill, see if we can see anything. Uh, there is first person in the game, but it says right now that it could be kind of sketchy, so I don't use it. Otherwise, it's third person. Multiplayer is coming, as well as uh, more things to the game, of course. Well, we struck out for the deer. Let's run down this way a little bit. Here's that little uh, subdivision we were looking at. With the tower. I was kind of hoping to find a rabbit too so you guys could see the rabbits. I saw zombies chasing something and I didn't see a deer but then uh, a rabbit ran across the road and they were hot on his heels. Oh dear. Oh there's a buggy right there. Is this buggy any good? We did an airdrop today, so really all you do is look at where the airdrop is, hit the map from what you guys have told me, and once the plane is done, it should show you where the airdrop uh, lands. We did an airdrop already once today, but there was some pretty sweet loot in it. I'm hoping this uh, dune buggy is okay. Let's see. Nah, it's a dud. I think we could get metal off of it, though. That's too bad. That sand rail is really fun. Oh, there's another deer right there. I see you. Ha ha ha! Gotcha! Gotcha! 
Waited for him to stick his head up over that hill. Bam. Uh, where's my other dead deer at? We got this guy. There was three of them. Oh, it's got spots still. Ooh, I feel bad. Where's the third deer? Oh, dear. Where is that deer at? Did I kill two? Oh, there's one there and one over here. There we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. I'm curious to see if this is actually going to be um, something we can get metal off of. Sucks the stamina right out of you. Yep. So there's actually a couple of vehicles. I don't think the vehicles spawn in and out of the game. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I'm not sure. But you need this stuff to make your shell casings, which is pretty handy. Thank you guys for joining me this afternoon. I appreciate it. As always. We'll do it again tomorrow. I tried a little uh, simulation this morning on um, Banished. Had quite an exciting time. That should be posting here very soon. I left the whole thing together, the whole two hour stream, just because it's interesting how things unfolded. Tragedy. Just absolute tragedy. But it made me laugh really hard. <laughs> Laugh in the face of tragedy. Yeah, see what I mean? Your stamina just tanks. Now, I could take this um, energy bar, but I'm not going to. This will probably be adjusted, too, because it does take a little bit of time to do this. I understand it's a sledgehammer, and yes, if I was swinging this sledgehammer, it would be uh, a real bear. No more scrap metal. So it'd have been a waste of that, that thing. And it flies a little bit too, so you've got to pay attention to where it's going. Put you in there, and I'll put you right back down here. So we came out hunting. We found 24 metal and three delicious chunks of venison. Nice. The world's beautiful. I like it. I like the grass. I like the bushes. He's got the flowers in here. A couple more flower types would be nice, but the, the bush and grass stuff is uh, different heights and sizes, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you can see here, there's wood piles back behind these buildings here, so there's more wood over here. It is pretty expensive. I think it's uh, four pieces of log for two planks. My radiation's not bad, bottom left-hand corner there. I don't think it's worth taking a pill for, but I believe that's the only way at the moment to get your radiation to go full. Let me know if I'm wrong about that or what if there is a way to uh, maximize your radiation again because I, I don't know other than those pills that there's a way to do that. And we got some metal. Look at there. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to get this stocked up. The wood especially because like I said, it does take a bit of wood to get things made. If you go in here, the planks, which you need lots of planks, it's four logs per two planks. It gets pretty expensive after a while, but you can make the vehicle repair kits in here as well. And they only take three of those metal, which is really inexpensive. I was thinking it's going to take that and some tape and maybe a, a wire. Maybe that's going to change. You know, maybe multiple things will be required in the repair kit in order to be able to make a repair kit. Um, I've got some tools that I don't use for anything, and I'm kind of wondering what they're for. So, we got, yeah, these um, wire cutters. Each of them's worth like 300. I don't think I can actually put them in my tool slot. Oh, I can. Cuts all types of wires if you're strong enough. So that's going to be something down the road. There's there's things coming to the game. A lot of stuff coming to the game. So I think that's cool. Now, this this plastic bottle. There's a question I was wondering about. Do I need those to make the shotgun shells? No. Nothing in there for that. What does the plastic bottle for? Hmm. I don't know that the bear trap actually works. I've not tried to use that on anything. 
Wow, I don't see what plastic is used for at all. Those plastic bottles? Hmm. Well, if you know, let me know. It could be they're just junk and garbage and you sell them. Could be. What was that? Cloth, okay. Nope, 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 nope. No. Mm -mm. Okay, yeah, I'm at a loss. Don't know quite. There's their gate. There's another wooden door. Like I said, I'll I'll get some supplies put together for the next one. And we'll do a little bit of building around the base here. Just make it look a little bit nicer. And Storage-wise, I don't know what to do about storage. There, I could put backpacks inside these things, I guess. And backpack inside a backpack inside a backpack. But I really don't want to do that. If I don't need the loot, I'm not going to take the loot. Um... Three more steak. Jeez, three more of those guys. That's awesome. We got, uh, we've got we got a lot of food. Lots of food, lots of water outside. So that's what I mean. Right now is a good time for us to go ahead and do a little work around the base for sure. All right, guys. That is going to wrap up the stream. Again, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate your support. I'm the Radio Man 03. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03 again. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time.